fucking uh, he torched some people. He torched some peeps in I in that movie. What? I ran and caught the whale. You did run across the room. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you did. Where's your mom? I, I'm pooping. <laughs> so. Taking big old duty. <laughs> Taking big old poopy. Sometimes you gotta go and you gotta in go. In her bathroom. In her bathroom. Dude, she just ratted. You just ratted your mom out in front of all these people. <laughs> you just told everybody that your mom was pooping. That's okay. We all poop. <laughs> The Halloween Kills news that we're going to assess tonight is very fucking interesting. Okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Thing here. That's when someone takes your last Michelob Ultra out of the refrigerator. You were looking (laughs) forward to that. You're like, you motherfucker. You said you didn't drink it, but I could smell it on your lips. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> one thing we haven't got to talk about live on the show yet is this photo right here which you'll see popping up on your screens uh, uh in just a moment is michael holding cameron by the throat which by the way follow us on twitter because we put this on the twitter right when it came out but it does look like he's saying did you seriously throw her fucking phone in a vat of nacho cheese after making out with a hot cheetah right in front of her you it looks little like it- fucker it kind of looks like a father that just walked in on him, like making out with his daughter and he pulled him out. And he was like, let me tell you something in this house. The doors stay open. They're not locked. And there's definitely no kissing my daughter. You fuck. Now, can you repeat back to what I just said? Yes, sir. You said the doors are always open. They don't lock and I'm not going to make out with your daughter. Exactamente. <laughs> that's that's why Michael, Michael looks like an enraged father that just fucking saw that. He's like, Keep fucking with me. He's like, yeah, I have a soft spot. Keep fucking with me, and you'll find out I have some hard spots too. And then he kisses him on the cheek like Deadpool. <laughs> that came out wrong. Or is that? Or it was like it's like when you challenge your dad and you say, "Fuck you, dad," and your dad's like, <laughs> that's "Oh, exactly. do you want the bull? You're gonna get the horns, bitch." <laughs> <That's> your, <laughs> it's time for you face. to understand why I'm the big dick of this fucking family. Oh, that's dad, your, I forgot. <laughs> that's your face when it happens too. You're like, "Oh, fuck." Yeah, I dude, that's exactly. Off dad. That's the first time you say, fuck you, dad. And that's the reaction right away. That's like big dick fucking Jones coming in and saying, no siree. <laughs> no siree, Bob. I am sorry kinda, about that. It's cool because like you see how big Michael looks. Like He looks fucking huge and powerful there because he's one-handing the bitch. Like, by the way, Cameron doesn't look like he weighs that much, but still. But the only mm. problem I have with the photo, actually, is if you, take a, if you take a deep gander at it, you can tell that that motherfucker's just standing on like a stool. <laughs> Like there is no like power. Michael's barely holding on to his throat because it's a you know it's a it's a set photo or whatever. You yeah. can tell that he's just like standing on something to make it look more real. But it's still yeah, he's standing on the ass. turds that fell out of his ass because he's scared shitless. <laughs> 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 uh, I, th- I mean, yeah, you could if you really wanted to deep dive it, yeah, you could definitely tell that he's standing on like some kind of like little box or something to give that effect that Michael's picking him up by. But we've seen that before. We've seen that in other where he pick Michael picks him up without you know with ease. I think it's cool though. I, I think it's it, it's a cool looking image. It's a cool looking and and also it gives me hope and 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 just like a hymn in my soul Desire. that this motherfucker gets killed Desire. in the worst way. I want him to die in the worst way possible. And I hope this is like the moment right before it happens. Like I want him to put his head in that one of those pieces of like frame over there and just squish it until it becomes part of the wall. I, I don't know. I hate that. I, motherfucker. Really. I hope he not comes the guy. Right I'm talking moment. about the. I'm talking about the character. I hope this is when he comes. What? Oh yeah, yeah. You, you could, you could say, I'm, yeah. I muted my mic. Oh God. face does look like he's like. Is that your dick, or is that your gun digging into my pocket? <laughs> your gun's digging into my hip. He's like, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Michael just Michael. Michael's got a new tactic. He pulls out his old crusty wiener that's all burnt up too, and he's like, look at my hot dog before he kills you. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to look at it. Look at. Look at me. Look at it. No, I don't want to look at it. Look at it. Uh, and all, my favorite comment that people are making about this is the people they were like, "Choke me, daddy." <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Choke me, daddy. <laughs> I feel like we just entered into real sex fifty-eight. <laughs> no, I just like it. I just like it when people dress up as horror icons that I love, and I love it when they choke me and they put me against the wall, <laughs> and they're just like, "I'm gonna kill you," and then I'm like, There's "Yeah, choke so me, daddy." Much- there's choke so me, much daddy. sexual choking going on in this. I never we got saw the that. shot of Kylie Richards. Oh, I get it. I get it. I don't get I mean this motherfucker is gonna kill you. He's not sexually attractive. Well, not you. you're ugly That's to him. Hot. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna break your neck. He wants to fucking choke you to death. You are going to sing with the angels in about five seconds, and you're talking about That's hot, daddy. 
Oh, daddy, can I have a sausage, daddy? Can I have a sausage, daddy? Daddy, can I have some sausages? What you talking about, Willis? Sausage? I swear to God, Lubis, if Lubis was alive today, that's what he would say. He's like, these motherfuckers are lining up to be killed by him and they're saying, I want some daddy. I've never (laughs) seen such sick offense in my life. I'd say let Michael be turned loose in the Jersey Shore. (laughs) <laughs> my favorite comment though is Vanessa Moreno says that looks like how I want to be choked during foreplay she that's not even the main course for Vanessa she wants that during foreplay what do you do after foreplay if that's foreplay Vanessa holy shit I like it good for you good for you Vanessa oh my <laughs> god <laughs> I mean, yeah, go with it, I guess, if that's your thing. I just oh, yeah. feel like if somebody, if somebody put their hands around my throat when I'm getting ready to come or something, they try to do that choking thing, I feel like I'd fucking punch them. I'm like, this bitch trying to kill me. <laughs> They'd be into she that. tried to fucking kill me, dude. I was like, I was like in a moment, and I was feeling good. It feels like someone's rubbing like really fast in my ears with those, uh, those little, what are those things called? Those Q-tips? Q-tips, really fast, really fast. It's going. I'm getting ready to come, and they, they fucking... <laughs> like immediately demonically oh fucking shit and then i just fucking uppercut her uppercut and i'm in That's jail it. what I'm do you mean i'm i'm ears. in jail i'm not cleaning your ears again don't even ask me there's that well, no, third time there will not be a fourth well it just feels like that it feels like someone rubbing q-tips someone well i don't know how to describe like i don't know my legs go numb and i feel like i can't walk for like two weeks when i come i mean that's just what it feels like <laughs> but i'm saying like i guess like i'm trying to say is like it's like q-tips rubbing really fast in your ears and that friction and you're getting ready to go and then you imagine somebody fucking choking you that's right awesome. when that great moment is happening that release and you, you think bet. that is better fuck that i can't I like I, it. I want to breathe <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me because i mean you look at it you 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 got very limited body functions that time because all the blood is rushed to your penis tip okay you don't have a lot of things only thing your body is telling you to do is to breathe okay everything else is gone because you're only focused on that wiener tip they're cutting off the only they're cutting off the the umbilical cord of this world i got left (laughs) and i will i i I hit it i i i'm 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 sorry that's what i do i mean i don't want people choking me (laughs) I don't like that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's the picture of uh, of, of Michael. It, some people made the joke. They were like, "That's that's just the good protective uncle trying to protect his niece." But again, of course, you got to remember oh. that they are not they are not related in this timeline. Uh, but yeah, that's a cool shot, man. It's an awesome fucking shot. I like it. Uh, all right, there is more Halloween kills dudes to talk about. It's actually pretty fucking fascinating, if I might say so myself. Um, but. For the Total Film magazine that we talked about in our Halloween Kills uh, update the other day, they they released just bits and pieces of what was said there. And first off, not a surprise, but it's it's it, there is interesting things to it. Uh, speaking about Halloween ends, Jamie Lee Curtis tells Total Film magazine for its new issue out this Friday. I would say, given what I know about the next movie, I think it will be the last time that I will play her as Laurie Strode. She says, and I'm not saying something like, "Oh, because I die." It's nothing to do with that. I'm talking about emotionally i'm talking about emotionally what they have constructed i think it will be a spectacular way to end this trilogy what they have constructed your your title says halloween and then the other part of it is called ends so yeah. uh, i don't I, think everyone's going to survive here james and the giant peach no <laughs> and definitely and here's the thing about it too is is I think I think this to me tells me she's definitely going to be in ends. But like you said, it could have been a flashback or something. They decided to kill her off in kills, and it could be you know they could be misleading us on purpose. What I think is actually more interesting about this, like I don't think anybody in their right kakinga thought that Jamie Lee Curtis was going to come back after Halloween ends for whatever else they do with Halloween next. I think we all thought she's definitely done after this. Three more movies. When we thought HGO yeah. was the last one, we thought, uh, well, first of all, two was the next one. The last one, we thought Resurrection was the last one. Definitely never saw her come back for three more movies and for sure as fuck not going to come back after that. What's surprising I, yeah, to me I is agree. that she says, I, is that she actually seems unsure herself if she's done. I would never have thought that. I thought she would say, I definitely, yeah, obviously I'm done after this. But she said, I would say, given what I know about the next movie, I think it will be the last time I will play her. Which, like, Jamie Lee Curtis leaving the door open to play uh, uh, Laurie Strode again at all is just so weird to me. Like, and I, I obviously think that this is for the best, that she doesn't. Nothing against her. She's been amazing. She's been amazing in these movies. But, like, whatever happens mm. next... After these three movies, I really want Halloween to continue, but they got to continue with the new story. You've got to, Michael's got to evolve. He can't just be Michael Laurie well, anymore. 
I've you said it before, through. and I said it about Scream. It's time to move on from your main characters. I mean, that's the way you got to survive. That's I mean, I've literally gone on record and said that. Jamie Lee Curtis, I think she's done with it. She was done with it with Halloween H2O, and they brought her back with a great script for the trilogy. But yeah. she needs to go. I mean, if you cannot have a sustainable future telling the same exact fucking story over and over again, especially with something as iconic and amazing as Michael Myers is, as the horror icon that he is, I think she dies in the next movie, and I think that she's probably having some kind of flashbacks, or it's possible that she's comatose in the third film, and that you know maybe they do like some flashbacks while she's comatose. And and I don't want her to go out that way. I'd rather go out in a very big giant, like I've said this before, uh, the the vampire taking on um, you know the hunter, um, you know very much. Um, I, I don't want Van Helsing. Saying, Van Helsing, very much Van Helsing and Dracula. Um, yeah. I wanted to go out that way. Uh, and of course, I, I, I say the same thing about Neff Kimmel. I know people want to bring them back and yada, 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 you know, sing me a song. They've literally been in four movies. That's Jamie Lee Curtis up to this point. She had been in Halloween one, Halloween two, H2O. H2O was supposed to be the last movie. Hmm. That was supposed to be it. She literally decapitated him. And then they had to do this whole retcon thing. She comes back for a terrible fucking Halloween resurrection. We saw how all that went. I feel like you got. I I feel like um, she's got to go. I mean, and I I think the sooner the better. And I think they're setting up Allison to be the next, the next scream queen. They're setting her up to be the next one that takes over for Lori. And they're gonna do some amazing shit in Halloween Kills. And I think you're gonna have the finale there with her. And then the next parts, the third one is probably. I I, I w- I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I, it's either gonna be just flashbacks. They may deager. I don't know. I think that's stupid, but they may. Uh, with scenes with uh, Michael, or it could be uh, just her talking to Allison and trying to prepare her to take, you know, that this terrible boogeyman is out there and it's going to come back. I don't know. I just, I, but I mean, there's no way that anybody really can be mad that she's going to go. No, no, I think it's definitely time uh, uh, to move on from Lori Strode after Halloween ends. I, I, I think, you know, we're, we have different thoughts, schools of thoughts on that. I think she definitely makes it to ends, maybe dies even in the beginning of ends, but uh, either way, She's. I think we're going to see her die. I think we're going to see her die. And, well, if and, I'm right, if I'm right, somebody owes me a Coke vanilla. Yeah, we got to start figuring out a way to make these bets before the movie comes out. Here's what we'll do, guys. Before the movie comes out, we will make a video and we will go back. It'll be like a review, like at the end of a chapter in a book. We will go back and we will revisit every every um, <clears throat> uh, what's the word I'm Prediction. looking for prediction yeah that that we each had for halloween and we'll, between now and then we'll think of some bets like nothing crazy but just something funny that we'll do uh to, oh, good luck because i mean i think i think we've changed them a lot because you know alcohol is a bitch <laughs> you can have <laughs> one stream where you're I, like i, can, I, can I think that we've i think everything that, i think that we've consistently said though i think we've been on point consistently saying i think that she dies in halloween kills mike does mike thinks she makes it to halloween ends um but yeah, that'll be that'll be a fun. Uh, yeah. And again, I, I, don't get me wrong. It's not like I don't like Jamie Lee Curtis or anything like that. But like as a fan of hers and as a fan of Laurie Strode, at some point, you got to say goodbye. And it, it, like, honestly, you could even make the case that she could have died in the Halloween 2018. And then moved forward with the new heroes to yeah. finish up the trilogy. So yeah, like I was going to say like Han Solo, but it's <laughs> what? No. Han, no, you put that Han. bad baby, bad baby, you put it away. Uh, one more piece of news from Halloween Kills. To me, the most fascinating of all of this. You guys have heard us say so many times on this channel that, specifically after everything that we've heard and people's reactions to the test screenings and uh, the 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 marketing rush and everything and and just all, every every little bit that has come that has been squeezed out of the news for Halloween Kills it all points to fucking an amazing movie and i think that with all the gore and all the emotion that's supposed to be in the movie i really think that Halloween Kills is as sure of a bet as almost anything movie wise for me to a movie that's going to be a crowd pleaser that's going to be a horror fan pleaser i think we're all gonna just lick the tip of halloween kills mm-hmm. like crazy and it's gonna like taste salty night. and it's gonna taste good <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah. but, I'm a, but no i agree uh, yeah but when it comes what i'm actually worried about i think halloween kills is a sure bet what i'm worried about and it's not because i have any doubts at all about uh, uh blumhouse or, or or david gordon green or um any of the people working on the film i have trust in them it's not that i think it'll be bad what i am concerned about what i think is going to 
What I think is going to be the most divisive film of the trilogy is no doubt going to be Halloween Ends because it's not going to be this crazy, wild fucking bloodbath. They're going to have to sow the oats. They're going to have to wrap it up, and they're going to do some shit, and I feel like whatever they do, it's going to piss people off. Nobody's going to get exactly what they want. No, I, well, you know, I, and I think we've had this discussion before as well. Uh, it's very similar to me, in my opinion, in the same argument that happens when you talk to hardcore fans that have never touched a booby in their life. I did. I, I have touched boobies, Back but it was a long, end. but it was a long time. It was a long time before I did it. Okay, uh, but when you talk to hardcore fans of Star Wars, uh, for example, uh, the original trilogy, the OG trilogy, uh, when you get to Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back is the the meat and potatoes of that trilogy. Like it's the dark part of it. Like it's a, it's, it's the dramatic part. There's a lot of emotion there. It, it takes you to the highest and it takes you to the lowest. I mean, I love you. I know. And then carbonite freeze, bitch, Boba Fett ship done. Like you get these um, and then it ends on a terrible note. It ends on a sad note. And then you get return of the Jedi, which wraps it all up and it ends on a happy note. I think that's exactly what's going to happen with Halloween kills. Halloween kills is going to be, such an incredible flick. I, I think it's going to be an amazing movie. I think it's going to be on par with something like Empire Strikes Back, where Fair it's going to be uh, it's going to be a roller coaster of emotion. And they've even said that they've even said it's probably the most emotional. Like there are going to be people fucking crying in the theater, probably just because these characters. And that's why I said that Jamie Lee Curtis may die. They're going to be saying goodbye to these beloved characters, or they're going to be saying goodbye to maybe a beloved character in the 2018 that they like, or whatever the case may be. But they said there's a lot of emotion involved in, in, in Halloween Kills. When you get to Halloween Ends, I feel it, it's no different to me. Also, you look at Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight Rises came on the, on the hills of Dark Knight, the Dark Knight, and it was fucking... Mm -hmm widely everybody loved it Heath Ledger unfortunately lost his life I'm not saying that added to the film's mystique but it it kind of did but it was so well done and it was so incredible the way they shot that and Heath Ledger was so mon monumental as Joker that that's what people talked about so it, anything that came after that was going to be hard I think that Halloween ends is going to have the same kind of conclusion it's not going to be high octane action it's not going to be super super duper emotional it's not going to be the highs and the lows like halloween kills is going to get you there it's going to get you off it's going to jack you off and then it's going to say i'm going to take you home and call you an uber halloween ends is going to be like i'm not even going to call you an uber i fucked you now get out of my house that's how it's going to be but it's still going to be a good ending and i think that it's going to be one of those movies though that at the end people are going to afterwards they're going to say oh yeah you know what halloween ends was really good halloween ends might be my second favorite one they might put Halloween kills, Halloween ends, then Halloween 2018. But I think at first we were talking, we were, you know, you all were saying it right. <clears throat> You're like, do you think there's unneeded pressure? Do you think there's uh, like a lot of pressure being put on the Spider-Man movie? I mean, do you imagine the, the, the pressure that's going to be put on Halloween ends? I mean, you're telling a story of, 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 a, uh, of a horror icon and like you're going to have to end it. And yeah. Yeah, and, I feel like Halloween Ends is going to be that that that, that case. And, and we so and we're both completely in agreement on that because it's I think it's easy to not easy, but they're going to please people with Halloween Kills. And then when Hall Halloween Ends is left with the the proverbial like Halloween Five happened, like hey, let's just do all this crazy shit. Well, how something had to come tie that up. We already know this is a movie that's going to tie it up, mm -hmm. and they they have they have a big responsibility and they have a lot of pressure on them. And I do. Put a gun to my head, bet my life on it. If I had to right now, I'd say I think Halloween ends is going to be fucking amazing. But I am, you know, there's just there's a whole lot of stuff that's going to be up in the air. It's not going to be what Halloween Kills is going to be. Yeah. And that is the movie I'm concerned about if I was concerned about anything in a positive way. But let me get to what I was saying uh, when I started this whole fucking diatribe is Jay and I have been saying what we just said for a while. Like you do run the risk if, if Halloween Kills is the Dark Knight. Of this trilogy, and that 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 makes how that put Halloween puts Halloween ends in the crosshairs to be the Dark Knight Rises, which is a very controversial. You love an it, underrated you movie, though. Right at the end of the day, it is, but it had so much fucking pressure on it uh, mm -hmm. and hype. But uh, what I'm about to read to you really just affirms what Jay and I have been saying, uh, which is why you know we went back through that. But producer Maleka Cod hints that, in his words here, quotation marks, the last one is going to be way more contained. While mm. director David Gordon Green David Gordon Green suggests that Halloween Ends will be a departure from what came before. Again, this goes right in line with what we were saying. Halloween Kills is going to be balls to the wall. It's going to be crazy. I fear people are going to walk into Halloween Ends expecting that and they're going to get an emotional uh, uh tying up of this trilogy. It's he like when your it's like when your your beloved wife takes off the veil 
and you're like, fuck, <laughs> shit. I thought she, I not, not enough whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> David Gordon Green went on to say about it. He says, I get engaged by doing something different. If I was just going to be repetitive, I would hand the reins off to someone else. When you have that opportunity within an established franchise, it's really fun to think about how you can show different tones and perspectives and evolve. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to be a, like a negative Nancy about it, I'll just play devil's advocate. I could read that and be like, man, they are already Halloween kills. Hasn't even been out yet. And they are already kind of doing PR to let people know, Hey, that's smart. Whatever you see in Halloween kills, you like, it's going to be very different with ends. So do not expect what you got in kills and ends. And, um, like you said, maybe in a positive like that is smart. In a negative that's way, a, I mean, I, I, like, I, I, they're worried I, that people are going to be pissed at, at what happens in Halloween. Ends. I, it's I not Halloween kills. I mean, what I'm walking away after uh, reading the article, what I'm getting is the fact that, look, you're going to say there's a lot of hardcore action that happens at Halloween Kills. It's there's, it's it's amazing. You're going to get a very feral Michael. It's going to be nonstop. You're going to get all these crazy moments and crazy scenes, some of the best death scenes you've ever seen. It's going to be awesome. Holy shit. Who slipped that into my drink? I'm having a great time. How did I end up in Illinois? I don't know. It's going to be like that. It's going to be crazy. But. What they're saying is that when you get to Halloween ends, a contained story, that means they're going to be focusing more on the storytelling part of it rather than focusing more on the action sequence side of it, mm -hmm. which I think it's smart. I mean, it, it, like and they talk, talk about a departure, which, you know, when I hear that a departure of things that we know what I'm automatically assuming. And we talked about this for years. And if they do this, I'm like, holy fuck, really? Um, <clears throat> if Michael does, ki you know, kill. uh Lori in Halloween kills or even in Halloween ends or whatever, but he does what he needs to do. If they're saying that Michael goes out of Haddonfield and he starts going out into the rest of the country and, and he just, you know, they don't know where he is. I mean, he just, he literally becomes a mystery uh, wherever he goes and he will, he'll just kill at random now. And he just gets, that's how that's, that's a departure from what you know, because usually the, 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 the normal line would be, uh, he wants to kill Laurie Strode or he wants to kill somebody related to his bloodline. And now they're not there anymore. Uh, and then he just hunts down the next in his lot. Now he's, he's freed. I mean, you're, you're breaking the shackles of Michael and you're saying you can go out of here now and he can go wherever he wants. That'll be a departure from what we know. I feel like Halloween ends is going to be more concentrated on story and atmosphere building and, and just overall, like trying to wrap it up with a nice bow and, and kind of giving you a little M. Night Shyamalan, just a little bit, but not too much. Whereas Halloween Kills is going to be fucking straight up UFC uh, McGregor breaking his ankle and blaming God. Mm. <laughs> like, it's just going to be crazy. That's how it's going to go. I mean, that's yeah. how it's, and I think they're doing cool. that exactly what you said, because people are going to get pissed when they go into Halloween ends. I exactly. They're going to say Halloween Kills was so fucking amazing, dude. Holy shit. I can't wait to see this roller coaster. What's well, not a Final Destination film like in a Final Destination film? You're going to expect to see bigger and better kills. You're not going to get that in Halloween ends. Right. So, so I, I think, yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's exactly it. I think that it's going to be, it's, it, it's, it's dangerous. I'm not saying I don't think I'm going to like it at all. I'm totally positive when it comes to this stuff. And I think they're going to do a great job, but it is so much more. It's almost more exciting because it's like, Hey, it's like, yeah. okay, my, Hey, my favorite team is the, uh, the dream team, the USA dream team. I can't wait. If I'm watching Halloween kills, I'm like, Hey, my favorite team's the dream team. I can't wait to go in there and watch them put on a show and just fucking blow everybody's minds. My favorite is the mighty ducks team. Hall Hall <laughs> Halloween ends is like rooting for that underdog team. That has mm. a huge uh, 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 insurmountable odds ahead of them, but if they do pull it off and it's great, it's going to mean that much more. Because yeah. in Halloween Ends, they're going to be coming off of, in my opinion, they're going to be coming off of a film that's beloved by everybody that's wild and crazy kids, and it's going to fucking blow minds. And then not only are they going to have to live up to that, but they're mm. also going to have to tie this these stories. The, the writing is going to have to tie these stories up in a way between Jamie, between Michael, between Alice and everybody in a way that's going to please fans, in a way that's going to please movie watchers, and it's such a hard task. So yeah. I'm very, very excited. I'm fucking jacked up to see how they do it. But, but I, mean, uh, I got to be honest. I mean, sure well, thing. That's all. I it's be, not a sure thing. I, I like, I, I love what we got presented with Halloween Kills, but I got to be honest. I like the storytelling part of Michael Myers. I like Me to too. build the legend. I like to build mythology. I like it when they go in and they really explore, uh, you know, what he is or not, but not give us the answers, but I like it when they build up 
the general atmosphere around Michael. I, I really like that better than sometimes even when they just do a straight up, you know, uh, he's going to go and hacking and slashing and hacking. <laughs> he just fucking things up left and right. I, I Well, I do enjoy those too. Those are awesome. The firefighter scene in Halloween Kills trailer was amazing to look at, but to go back and flesh out more of the Michael Myers mythos, I, I I don't think there's anything wrong with that, especially in Halloween Ends, if they go and they actually turn him, turn him loose, turn him loose, like in Tombstone, turn him loose. Well, I I'm they not. Will. I think he'll die the second that Lori dies, and then there's no place to turn him loose. I don't think so, because I think that they, a cod's not going to let it. Well, a cod will let him die. I think die, a cod's not going to let that will, happen. No, he'll let, he'll let Michael die. He he just won't let the franchise die. Well, what you'll have is Michael thing. dying, and then you'll have a twitch of the fingers. I mean, even then, I don't. I think a cod literally said, like, I think he literally doesn't want Michael to die. He he doesn't like, want Michael to die officially. But as, as as far as this being a different timeline and how comfortable we all are as fans with that now, I think he will let him die at the end of it. But that's a different conversation. That's another one for the. I old, I, I, uh, I, I think that if a cod did that, I think that a cod would be drunk if he agreed to that because a cod is literally his he, he's, he's, he's literally taking it. the dictates from his father his father said no he said no it ain't happened that what they're saying is you can never kill michael off officially they're not saying you can't kill him off at the end of a movie they've killed michael off at the end of a movie a hundred times like well, yeah four, but, that, but that would be a wink wink I mean, if they blow he's dead if they blow him up or some shit like they do and like jason goes to hell it's gonna be like because like no no you don't do that around here but we, I mean, what I'm saying though is like, whatever the next movie after this is, it's not going to take place in this timeline. So no matter what, by all if facts and purposes, Michael's dead after Halloween ends. This version of Michael's dead or gone. They're not doing. They're never going to do a sequel to Ends. So whatever mm-hmm. sequel they make will actually be to something else, or it'll be a remake or be whatever. But this I mean, this timeline's done either way. Whether he dies. Well, or I not. mean, listen, they let Michael survive getting roundhouse kicked by fucking Buster Rhymes. So I mean, and he opened his <laughs> eyes after he got torched and hung in a goddamn garage, and he That's opened his eyes in a body bag. Shit. So I think I, I don't know. I don't think he'll die, but that's again. We need to we need to start putting this shit down on record. <laughs> like I if, I swear to God, if the camera zooms in, and like his fucking little burn ass like three fingers twitches. Be like, I <laughs> well, let me you. rephrase that though. Let me rephrase that though. At the same time, I do think I do. You might be right. I think that maybe. Because if they want to do it in the spirit of the original Halloween, where like it's all over and Lori's story's done and Allison's story, everybody's story's done. But at the end of it, you still hear Michael breathing or see the twitch of the fingers or whatever. I think that's possible. But I, I, all I'm saying is that no matter what, you're never going to see the James Jude Courtney, this Blumhouse, Michael Myers again. So Dude, if they killed him off, it wouldn't be, in essence, actually killing him off. I'm seeing some interesting conversation going on in that chat. I got to say, I like it. I like this crazy shit. They're like, what if Ooh. Michael just wins? What if they say, let him win? He kills Lori. He does what he needs to do, and he walks off in the fucking sunset, drops his mask, oh and just walks God. away. I, I like, like that. that, okay? I like let, that a Let lot. him win. Let him go. Yes. Let my people go. Darkness. Yes. I would say Darkness us. That, would, that would blow people's minds away because you've never really it seen where Michael has, has succeeded ever. Yeah. Not really. It'd so if dark. he were to kill Lori Strode, or yeah. whatever he needed to do, and then you see him drop the knife and drop the mask, kind of like he, what he did at the beginning of Halloween Resurrection. And he just, but in this one, it's way cooler and it's way better. Those nips are getting like hard, it. and I know they're ready to be lactated. I'm liking this, you, he, Steven. You walk, he, you walk off, or he get, oh, dude, he gets in the car, the old like looking station wagon from the first one, and he just drives away. Like maybe it's been in his garage for a while. <laughs> He's just like, I, it's a collector. I've been keeping it. <laughs> like I knew this day Halloween. would come. That's it, and it just yeah. says Halloween ends, and that's it. And then like you get a little uh, like fall leaves falling, Man. and Halloween that's it. And people ends. will be like, "Cause they're I would love it because you know people are going to get mad because they're like, oh, I can't believe the bad guy wins, or you know, because they always want the resolution where the good guys come out on top. This would fucking blow people's minds, dude. It's going to get fucking wild. I like and that's what I'm saying. Like we know Halloween Kills is going to be great, so we're like pumped about it. But when Halloween Kills kill, ends comes up, it's going to be the last one, and we're going to have so many questions, and we're going to need him answer. We're going to need him answer the way we need him answered. The fucking anticipation for Halloween ends when it comes is going to be at an all time high. I had a sister named Judith She had sex with this kid It all ended awkwardly quick You know, I stabbed her in the tits I know it probably wasn't cool of me But I just went crazy You see, my middle name is Audrey Michael Audrey 
my 